So, I'm sitting next to this guy, and he's just going on and on and on, just fucking pontificating out of his fucking ass. Uh -huh. I mean, he's, he's, he's some pseudo Asian hippie from Woodstock, right? And he's going on with this chick on his eye chat, which I don't even know you fucking do in airplanes, but apparently you can, because hmm. he's going on about his adventures in India and how Ganesh yeah. Baba threw him across a hut with his magical mind powers. The few times I care to listen, I can tell that this guy is borderline retarded on his best day. And this <laughs> is not one of his best days, so... Unlock me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, what the fuck does the dumb bitch know for miss? I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, the lights are down low. And clearly Mr. One with the Earth thinks that I'm asleep because... Next thing I hear, he asks her what's she wearing. Uh... <laughs> so I don't say anything because what the fuck am I going to say? Plus, I admit I'm a little curious. So I make like I'm asleep, and uh, he unbuckles his belt. And then he says, no shit, he fucking says, oh my god, you dirty little cum slut whore. Uh -huh. And I hear him slapping his fucking meat. Oh, Jesus Christ. So what do you do? I stood up. I looked at him and I said, listen, fuckhole, why don't you take your incense, your tie-dye, and your fucking grapester pubes into the bathroom so the rest of us can get some fucking sleep? You said that? Fucking A. And hey, what did he say? Nothing. Because hmm. then I slit his fucking oh. throat! <laughs> <laughs> oh, classic moments. We spin at Max! Back together again! You're fucking weird, dude. Uh, so how far away is it? Not that far. So when you uh, said you were gonna help me, and that was, I guess, uh, metaphorical. If I uh, had tried to help, I just would have gotten in the way. Sure. I don't really have the the knack for house cleaning. Good thing we don't have a house then. <laughs> Well, we don't have anything. <laughs> I'm a gracious roommate. Cute. Oh? Very much so, Grispin. The place really does look great, though. You didn't have to do all that. It's just my brother. Just your brother? Mm. The way your parents were just your parents. They loved you. They were very pleasant people. They're pleasant enough, I guess. That's just what I would say. Pleasant enough. Max, he's harmless. He's a little rough around the edges, but... <laughs> This is starting to sound like a Bruce Springsteen song. There actually is a song of his that goes like that. I know. <laughs> I should have said, sounds like a Midwestern movie. <laughs> Your film courses keep embedding themselves in the oddest forms. Sticks and stones, my dear. Mm. I could critique you under the table. Under the coffee table, that is. I know, isn't it wonderful? <laughs> I even got it on discount in honor of your mother. Ah. Uh. The dumpster diver with imported fountains in her foyer. Liberal guilt is a powerful thing. We are the smartest soda jerkers in all the Rhode Island. <laughs> Bad form, sir. You need to step back from your expectations and just wait for life to kick in. Now, speaking of kicking in, pot we smoked, not very strong. It's not the best. We need to stop buying from that guy. We're not buying from him. Goof. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's why it's only second to a good Advil. Mm. So are you nervous? I am, in fact. Don't be. I'm sorry I didn't help you more. Or at all. Or at all. You're cute. <laughs> so, what were you guys doing in there? Nothing. It's definitely the boring brother. <laughs> we should go inside. Hey. Uh, on the box. And, uh, I'll have a glass of red wine. Thanks, darling.
So you never told me what you thought. Hmm? The, the manuscript. Oh, uh, I thought I told you before. Did you read it? Sure, of course. You know, my mind wanders. Reading novels isn't really my forte. Here we I mean. go. By the way, your portrayal of mother is excellent. <laughs> Cutting. I believe her exact words were, your brother has whipped out my beating heart and ground it into the dirt. But mm. you know how dramatic she can be? Yeah, well, it's a fictional novel. Imagine Shakespeare's mother felt the same way. Mrs. Shakespeare, what did you think of your son's latest? Libel, I tell you. My name is Gertrude. <laughs> how are things in the big city, Max? As infertile and inauthentic as a titty bar in Utah. But moving with the speed of light. How's that for prose, brother? Mm. It's just off the top of my head. Are you still writing, Max? I didn't know you wrote. Wrote. It's a key word. It's okay. I'm sure Crispin has too much rewriting and revising to do to include my pitiful canon in this thought process. Even by way of casual conversation. Even by way of, hey, you know my brother Max? He writes. Yeah, well, I'm sure I've mentioned it at some point. No, Max is the one who got me into writing, actually. Movies. I got you into writing movies. I don't... Have your back on masturbation, poetry, and war stories. Oh, and this whole time I thought you liked them. I like them, brother. I like you. But love and respect are two very different things. Mm. Well, I certainly could have taken more cues from you. you know, what little you've shown me of your work, quite striking. Quite striking. Mm. <laughs> We've been hobnobbing too much with whoever it is who hobs and knobs up here. For my money, something is either good or it's bad. Ah, now who sounds like mother? I thought it was fiction. Well, I'd love to see some of your work, Max. <laughs> it's not much to see. I mean, I wrote, I lived, and somewhere between having to pay the rent and having to pay my father back for 82 misadventures, I died. Mm. Alas. This wine is fantastic. How is Dad? Oh, you don't know? He doesn't include postscripts in your checks anymore? Max. I had front row seats to the clubhouse freak show, but I traded in my ticket. I dropped a few runs in class, and here I am, gainfully employed, but hardly capable. Would you like some more wine, Max? I would love some, darling. Sorry. Was I ranting? No, not at all. Not at all. Good. I know how you abhor a good rant. So you really didn't like the book? Jesus Christ, are you going to get a straight answer out of me or what? Oh. I mean, it was a draft, right? It was. I'm sure it goes without saying that I did. Fuck it. I can judge it as much as I want. I'm ah. as smart as the next guy. Assuming the next guy is you. But no, to be serious, no. I didn't really like it. it seemed kind of like an exercise in exercising. Vague, irritating. Not unlike this apartment's decor. Oh, so you're an art curator now. <laughs> Don't ask the questions, brother. I've missed you, ma'am. How drolly he does bullshit. Here you go. Thank you, honey. <clears throat> anyway, it was a draft, right? I'm not really a target audience anyway. Well, that's just it. I, I was trying to write something insightful, but accessible to the everyday public. And I'm the everyday public, what with my uh, hourly wages and dial-up internet. Where are you working now, Max? No, oh, I'm not. I... Poetic license. This wine is fucking great. So tell me more about you two. I'm sorry, Mary, I forget what it is you do. I'm a research assistant. What does that entail? Which assistants are you researching? <laughs> That's funny. Mm -hmm. um... Right now, it's pretty by the book kind of stuff. Medical research, that kind of thing. It's great. You're the best looking meal ticket I've seen since Roosevelt dropped a dime on national currency. Hardly. Crispin's bringing in most of the money. Have you read his essays in the Pine Grove Reader? Oh, yes. <laughs> dense. Quite dense. I... You're sort of a syndicated blogger vis-a-vis -vis paper, eh there, brother? Well, like I said, I'm working on a novel. And work you shall. Who did that? I did, actually. Was that before or after you got his number? What? <laughs> did you put on Streisand Sings Porter? I can just see you prancing around, fancy pants, throwing paint in inadvertent directions. Max, no. please. <laughs> what? Max. What? What? I... What'd I say? Crispin? What? 
Yes, Crispin? Well, if you wouldn't mind. Here we go, prodigal prodigy. Hit me up with some New England more. Well, you're our guest, but I would. I am? Yes. But I would appreciate it if you didn't talk like that here. Like what? In the way that you were suggesting that you. I'm just kidding around. Yeah, he, calm down. I. He's, I'm he's, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We I'm sorry, I don't mean to be uptight. Let me I just guess. don't. Your father is gay. And you diligently get his back in the back of all of his sisters and sisters in social situations. Even the harmless snicker in the corner of the snide knock knock joke. Am I that obvious? Not at all. This line is going straight to my dick. I'm gonna go give it some relief. I like her, Crispin. I like her, like I like mom's ice cream. Jesus Christ. I'm completely on edge. He hates me. No, he hates me. Wonderful bathroom. Should we tell him? No. <laughs> He's too wound up. He sees everything I do as some sort of fucking betrayal. It's, we can't announce it yet. It's better to wait. Let him hear from mom and dad. Well, that involves us telling them first, you know. It, we're, you know, we're talking about it like it's... What? You, you know? It's good news. And I don't want it to get lost on... Fuck! This, this is exactly why I'm comfortably three states and some change away from my family. He was calling you gay, you know. I... What are you trying to prove, getting all silent? Your reading material was correlative and contradictory at the same time. Yeah, well, we try. Do you? Yeah, I guess. Well, this is horribly rude, so please forgive me, Max, but I never had time to take a shower today, and since we're going out, I don't want to smell the way I smell. So to make a long story short, I'm going to take a shower. Fascinating. Please. Keep us posted. Max, could you please no, show No, little... it's okay. That was playful and sarcastic, right? Cherie merveilleuse, tout à fait bien. Or you can take the boy out of the main line. Sticks and stones, brother. On that note, I'll be right back. Have a good shower, darling. <laughs> I... sure. No, I mean, have a good one. You know, we have plenty of time. Max, Jesus Christ! No, it's okay. We actually don't have a removable shower head, Max, so I'm just gonna have to wait for your brother. Well done, Crispin. She's a pretty penny in the fountain of cum, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't even know what you're saying anymore. Bad form, that's bad form. I just don't sound like the old man. Will you please stop calling him the old man? You make it sound like Biff and Happy. <laughs> well, I only called him that once this evening, I think. I think and I'm think. really happy to see you and everything, obviously. But what, oh brother of mine? But, go easy on her in there. I didn't even intend to go in there, but if I did, I certainly would, out of respect for you, go easy. Hilarious. Look, we both know that you're smarter than me, uh, we, we blah, 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 but for once, could you not you embarrass me? You are not so tough here face to face, but at a distance, your stoic H.G. Wells act is pretty fucking intimidating in its own faggot sort of way. Picking up a telephone must be really straining, eh, Professor? Yeah, well, I'm the one always defending you when your name comes up, so why don't you stop making me look oh, like well, an asshole? Oh, thank you. Something. You're just the great mediator, huh? Well, since that only happens once in a fucking blue moon, that you'd actually be within shouting distance of our fucking family, and that they'd actually be so fucking strapped of things to talk about that I'd actually come up well for that blue moon defense. Allow me to say thank you. I'm gonna step outside. Charming. May I step with you? So what's she like in bed? Pretty boring, actually. Keeps the lights off. Bullshit. What do you know? <laughs> I'm not 15 anymore, Max. I don't really want to talk to you. Jesus about Christ. Through your pussiness alone, I'm having to play the bad seed. Why don't you loosen up, Crispin? <laughs> Pretty fucking depressing. <laughs> I mean, I always was the black sheep of the family, for lack of a better term, but... I mean, you, I just... What the fuck are you talking about when you were 15? When you were 15, all you did was jerk off and use all the hot water. <laughs> How much are we at, Max? How much are we at? I lost track. You're just gonna come out with it like that? I don't have any illusions about your little visits. Oh, shut the fuck up. I was, I had your back before academia came in and descended on all your fucking Just as I have your back now. 
How much? Still got it from here? Like Walter Houston dancing for Bogart in the desert. Touche, I think. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying Jesus to seduce Christ. me. Jesus Christ. How long were you standing there? Just arrived. Well, could you please wait until I... I'm sorry, are you not... Decent? Where's Crispin? Crispin, your questionably clad woman is What is your you. fucking problem? I'll be out in a minute. Go. Sorry, ma'am. Just seeing what I can oh, see. Get out! I mean this with, you know, all possible respect, but are you some kind of creep? In what sense? Were you trying to watch me get dressed? I was trying to knock on your door. I saw your state of undress and tried to make a joke. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's always the other person that's crazy, isn't it? Crazy is a relative term. Where's Crispin? He ran out to get food. I thought we were going out. Changed his mind. He said he wanted to watch the new Spike Lee joint and order in Chinese. Spike Lee doesn't have a new movie out. It's a documentary we never got around to watching. What if I wanted to go out? What indeed, sister-in-law? What? He told you? No, I intuited. Holy shit, am I right? Look. Oh, he's gonna marry you? Max. Wow. Just a little FYI, as the kids say, mom and dad aren't nearly as quaint as they seem. So he didn't tell you? It just seemed like the next logical step on the Candyland board. Max, you know he loves you very you know much. He, he idolizes you. you. All he hey, wants all is he for you guys to do then is either pick up a phone or answer one. It's actually quite simple. Alexander Graham Bell. Oh, you're an has asshole. Am I allowed to say that now? Now that we have our family oh, hats on. You don't on? have the chip on your shoulder nor the drinking problem to slingshot with me. Why do you hate me so much? I don't hate anyone. Really, you just met me, and just like that, you hate me. My dear sweet college graduate, it's not just like that. It's not just like anything. It's just like this. I happen to be very invested in my brother. I prefer if he not invest himself- In women? Not in any permanent basis. Let's just leave it at that. Did you hate your mother that much? Why don't you watch your fucking mouth? Oh, I guess I will. In my fucking living room, in my fucking house, I'll watch what I say while I get critiqued by the last dickless drifter this side of the Hudson. You know, if you said that line in a movie, no one would buy it, right? Oh, I'm sure I speak better than you write, You're mister. just a typical white-bred New England cunt, aren't you? You don't know a fucking thing about me. I'm calling Crispin. I'm gonna go. Where the fuck are you gonna go to? He's gonna be understandably furious with me. I just... I've done enough damage. Go. Go, finish drying off, mademoiselle. Wait. What? You probably shouldn't go. I... Look. Yes? I'm not really sure what just happened. It's just the natural order of assimilating motives. They meet and they erupt. Well, whatever it was, it happened quickly. And... I don't know, I was thrown off when sure, you, sure, you know... Sure. I understand. You do? I mean, you're upset. I'm on the defensive. Exactly. No reason we can't just... Put it behind us. I think so. Right. I mean, it just happened so fast, one thing, you know, just leading to the leading, leading exactly. to the other, you know, natural progression. Natural. I mean we're both a bit jittery. Let's just Yeah. Bygones and bridges. Oh? Something like that. Okay. I mean, after all, we're gonna be family, right? Exactly. Speaking of which, how about a toast? She's finishing my sentences. To, uh, Crispin and mine, mine. To Mary and Crispin. May they both have many years of happy, devoted marriage. And to Max and all our new family. <sighs> so I just have to know. Does he make you take it in the ass so we can pretend he's fucking theater boys? You motherfucker! What is your fucking problem? What? I thought we shook and made up. Do you have some sort of a problem with me? I just wanted to know, what's the sex like? None of your fucking business. The shit it ain't. 
I want to know what my boy's been sinking into. If you're experimental, I get to save a little money on the bachelor party horse. Get the fuck out of my house. What happened to bygones? You're a sick fucking asshole. Go play homewrecker somewhere else. All evidence to the contrary, mademoiselle. <clears throat> I'm protecting my village, not burning what it. What the hell do you mean? I'm merely testing your mental endurance. I like to see my brothers emotionally well endowed. That is your obsession. He said you were freaky, but this is something completely different. What else did he say? Are you completely fucking insane? You're sounding melodramatic. What's the sex like? Fuck you! Sorry about that. What's the sex like? When he gets back, you're dead! I've been bench pressing. What's the sex like? You son of a bitch! <laughs> You have no fucking concept! You all wrapped up in your fucking Emily Dickinson and research assisting. You have no concept of the fucking mindless blah, blah, blah. I can tell. I don't even fucking know you. And I can tell. Fuck you! Oh, yeah, sure, whatever. Keep bleeding. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. You, Mary, are just like me. You know how I know? Don't answer, I'll just tell you I'm on a roll. And you're the same dumb fucking twat I've seen a million fucking times. Completely benevolent in all things oral, domestic but not dumpy, doting but not helpful. You're like a fucking spin magazine turntable ad. I could tell the moment, the moment I walked in here, you're like a fucking commercial because you promise what you can't deliver. You're a fucking fake. My brother falls for fix, but I don't. I don't. I don't know what it is. Man, too much breastfeeding, not enough, not enough hand jobs. I don't know, but whatever it is, I'm not going to watch him become my father. No, I'm not sure how I'm going to get my money back. But hopefully, we can send you back to the factory. By the way, what's the sex like? What's the sex like? It's wonderful. <laughs> Very hetero. It's all loud and clear enough for you. Very fucking hetero. That just did it, isn't it? Daddy could beat the queer out of you. You fucking god! <laughs> if you can, yeah. kill me if you're going to, cowboy. <laughs> Whatever you decide, you still won't know a fucking thing about me or a fucking thing about your brother. Fucking! <laughs> May I just say, honestly, it was self-defense. What the fuck did you do? Honestly, brother, I just one thing led to another. You sick motherfucker! What the fuck happened? Motherfucking seems to be my theme tonight. Must be my Oedipus motif. I've worked so hard at concealing she's, it. Uh, she's still breathing. Uh, she's, really she's really a bit of a bad apple. I would. Why the fuck? Why the fuck did you do this? I love her. I. You're a fucking animal! This whole time, a fucking animal! Why didn't you tell me you were getting married? <laughs> is, that, is that what this is about? Me getting married? They should put you away a long it's fucking time ago. almost. Your restraint. All these fucking years! <laughs> You're, I fucking know it! I fucking know it! Crispin, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Telling her no more shiners, Billy. <laughs> oh! You fucking just got your way, huh? Just fucking got your way! <laughs> Come on! Let me have it! Just oh, fucking give it to want? me! Is this what you want, Vincent? I don't, I don't need you anymore. <laughs> Happy? I don't fucking need you anymore! Oh, just I, shut up. Will you, will you please just shut the fuck up? One more thing before I go. 
Don't wait up for me 